Hi, my name is Alex Stanton, and I have uh, praying mantids as pets. That's the plural for a praying mantis. So, uh, my mantids are uh, smaller brown ones, not like the big green ones you see mostly around Michigan. They're, uh, they look like little leaves. I think they mimic those from, so they can avoid predators and stuff like that. So right now, uh, my mantids are about this big, so maybe like uh, about an inch tall. And eventually they'll get to like uh, two and a half inches or three inches long. And uh, that's much smaller than the ones in Michigan. My mantids' names are Sableye and Kanye. The, what do they eat? They eat um, anything they can get, anything that moves that they can get their little arms around. So like flies, other mantids if they can find them, any kind of insect that they can catch. I want to have a praying mantis as a pet because I thought it would just be a cool pet to have. They don't really hurt people, they don't bite, and they're not poisonous or anything, so they can't really hurt me, and I don't want anything that could hurt me. I think more people than you'd think would have praying mantises as pets, but uh, I, I, I don't know if a lot of people have them as pets. You can play with them, they'll crawl on your fingers, and uh, and that, that's about it. You can't do that much with them, but they'll crawl all over all surfaces, and it's fun to play with them. Um, mantids live for about a year and a half to two years, uh, and if you keep them warm in warmer climates, they live shorter. If you keep them in cooler climates, they live longer. I would recommend them. They're very easy to take care of, and they're kind of they're kind of cool to have, and they don't hurt you. So it's easy pet to take care of, and it's a cool one to have.